When it comes to the center, underwater bubbles are often overlooked. So we proudly present top two underwater bubbles with full base designs on the center. And before this video gets started, we are raising money for Feeding America, which will end on July 31st. For every subscriber we get, we will donate one cent to charity. At the end of the month, we will match this total. Feel free to subscribe today. And coming at number one, this can be found at 67.5 latitude and 63.4 longitude. This is the first underwater bubble. These underwater bubbles are always overlooked as they can be horrible locations as some may say, but these spots are actually amazing if built right. These spots do not allow flyers, rock golems, and most soaker dinos, which means if built right, these locations can be quite literally unrateable. Here is the first bubble. This bubble is the smaller of the two, but even this one is massive. This bubble has a decent amount of flat land and plenty of dino storage. There is basic resources so if you're starting off you can always come down here with a pick and come start off in here. Let's get on to the full base design. Now starting off, you're greeted with these two turret towers. These towers have 24 turrets on each one. You can add as many as you want, and these towers are 2x2 two two surrounded by a layer of foundations. In the front of these towers are double door spam that span across the entire entrance of this bubble. In front of these are bear traps to help protect the wall. Next to the tower is also bear traps just in case players get behind this wall. And this spans all the way to the other side, which is basically a duplicate of the other side. And there are also heavy turrets on the ground just to help out with some more defense. Here is the crafting station. This is located behind the main base. This crafting station consists of four indie forges, one replicator, 9 chem benches, 9 fabricators, and 3 smithies. This crafting station can of course be adjusted to fit your tribe's needs. Here is your main base. The main base consists of 60 turrets but you can add more to adjust to your needs. The base has a dino gate entrance and has another in the back for letting dinos in and out as you need. When you first walk into the left is a daddy storage wall. Next to this is your refrigerator storage along with all of your vaults for storage. This spans of three layers allowing for maximum storage. And behind your refrigerators is two smithies and two feeding troughs. This is mainly used as a quick craft area. Over to the right of the entrance is your hatchery. This has 23 air conditioners, 2 cryo refrigerators, 4 refrigerators, 1 grill, 1 cooker, and 5 egg incubators. Next to this is a tech transmitter and 20 cryo refrigerators. Under the stairs is your tech generator powering the entire base. And coming upstairs is all of your personal rooms. There are 8 of them and each room is a 2x2 two two, so you have plenty of room for each of your tribe members. In the middle, there is 8 refrigerators, 8 cryo refrigerators, and 16 vaults for your personal storage. This is the entire base, now let's move on to the second location. For every subscriber in the month of June, we will donate one cent to a charity of your choice at the end of the month. Feel free to subscribe down below. And coming at our second location, this can be found at 24.6 latitude and 90.6 longitude. This is the bigger bubble of the two. One of the bigger issues with this bubble is that the entrance is a lot bigger. 
There are two main areas for the entrances, so if you're a bigger tribe, this spot is definitely for you. Make sure to cover every entrance as players will be able to get in here a lot easier than the last one. The spot isn't as flat as the last one, but it has a lots of ceiling areas to build, so we will definitely take advantage of that. There is a lot of room for everything, so you will not run out of room in this bubble at all. And overall, this spot is great for a big tribe looking for more of a hidden location to live in. Here is the full base design. When you first come through the bubble, you're greeted with a 2x2 two two turret tower with 3 layers of turrets. There is 36 turrets on each tower. In front of this tower is tons of bear traps to make sure players don't rush them with dinos. There is a double door wall to also help out with this. And coming over to the other side, there is a duplicate of the main turret tower with all these defenses. Now let's move on to the crafting station. This crafting station was built in front of the ruins as this is the best spot for it in my opinion. This station has 5 indie forges, 2 replicators, 2 grinders, 8 fabricators, 8 chem benches, 4 smithies, and 2 vaults. This station can be adjusted to fit your needs. In the middle of the bubble is another 2x2 just for extra defense. And in the back is the main hatchery. This has 62 air conditioners, 8 incubators, 2 cookers, 2 grills, 3 S plus hatcheries, 4 feeding troughs, 1 cryo refrigerator, and 10 refrigerators. This has plenty of room for hatching tons of dinos all at once. Now let's get on to the other entrance. This has a duplicate of the other towers and bear traps. And above this, there are two big chandeliers to protect the entrance from above. Now let's move on to the main base. This is located up here in the ceiling. We used a ladder which stretches down to the crafting station to get up and down. However, I recommend that you use some grapples for getting the most protection. The main base has hanging towers, a small turret tower wall under the base, and a made one for the entrance of the base. Inside the base is just a big storage room with plenty of vaults and cryo refrigerators. There is a secret room in the top which will be used as a logout room. Here is the rest of the interior. But anyways, that's it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to donate one cent to Feeding America.